Hi, this is John and welcome to a quick WAG tutorial. Today we'll be expanding on our recipe app and using some powerful features that can be added to any app. Let's start by creating a new app and title it My Recipes App Development. We'll use the My Recipes app as a template. This creates a duplicate of our original app and allows us to make changes without editing the original app. Later in the video we'll push all the changes to the original app. First, we'll go into the recipe form. In here, let's add a standard section and title it hidden section. Also, let's check visibility mode and make sure it's at false. Our first field in the hidden section will be a text box which will title Submitter's Email and click Default Value Formula Builder. In here we simply add Get Logon User Email Method from the Methods section. For additional help on the Formula Builder, you can hit the question mark button right next to the Formula Builder on any page. Next, we'll add another standard section and title Approval. Then in the Visibility Formula Builder, we'll add the Get Logon User Email Method equals My Email so that only I could see this section. In this section, we'll add a yes no field titled approved. Okay, now let's save that and then click edit at the top of the page. Here you'll see all the buttons that users can view, but let's change the edit and delete button so users cannot delete or edit other recipes. To do this, click the edit button, visibility control, and formula builder. In here we'll add the following formula. This formula means that a user can click edit delete only if they submitted the recipe and it has not been approved. Or I can always click those buttons when logged into webappgenerator2 at gmail.com. We'll copy that line and add it to the delete button as well. After, let's add a Unite Names field in the hidden section titled Admins. We'll then add a UM group by searching and checking the IT managers, which includes only me. Let's now add another Unite Names field titled Users in the hidden section. We'll search again and add My Company, which contains all the users that download this app. Now let's close this form and edit our recipes view. In there we'll click predefined filters, approved, and yes. This means that only approved recipes will show in this view. Let's now go into our ingredient form and add a hidden standard section with the visibility set to false. In this section, we'll add a Unite Names field named Admins and add the IT Manager group again that includes only me. We'll save and now go into our Ingredients view. In here, let's check Visibility Control, Admins, OK, and Save. This way, only admins can see this view. Now back to our recipe form. Let's add a text field in our hidden section titled submitter name which we'll use in our next field titled email body. We'll now create the email body text field and click calculated formula builder 
and add in the following formula which will be used for emails that are sent out. Okay, let's now add a button field under the ingredients list section because that's the last section users fill out. We'll title this button Submit My Recipe and click Visibility Control Formula Builder. In Formula Builder, we'll add the submitter name field name equals two single quotations. This means that if the submitter name field we added is blank, then they can submit the recipe. Once the field has their name after submitting once, then they can't submit again. Let's now add some actions that happen when the button is pressed. For this, we'll click Event and add two of them. The first will be a set value action and submitter name under field. For the value, let's click Formula Builder and add get logon user full name first last method. The second event will be a save an email which will have email admins when a recipe is submitted. For this, click Email to and add admins, then we'll choose Email to all persons in the drop down selection of Applies to Unit Names Only. Then we can add our message that will be sent and have the link included in the record by clicking include link to record. Now let's add an event when the approved button is clicked. We'll go to our approved yes no field and click event. Let's add a save an email which will have email the submitter acknowledging their submission was accepted. Then we'll click email to and add submitter's email. Then we'll add our message as well as including a link to the record. Let's add another event when the approved button is clicked. This time we'll add a save an email which will have email all users once a recipe is approved. We'll click add fields near email to and choose the users unite names we just created. Then we'll create our message and click include link to record. Let's now add a text field titled submitter ID in the hidden section. Then we can add get logon user ID method as a default value. This ID will be used to differentiate every user. Okay, now let's add a new view and title it My Recipes. We'll use Recipe under the drop down list below the name field and then check everything but the hidden section and save. Once saved, we'll click back and add a predefined filter. In here, click Submitter ID and equals Logon User ID. This filter will only allow the creator of the recipe to see his recipes in the My Recipes view because of his Logon User ID. Let's now add our last view titled Pending Approval and use the recipe under the drop down list below the name field. We'll check everything that we want to see when approving a recipe like the name, category, and such. Once that's set, we'll save and then hit back. Let's finally add a predefined filter by clicking Submitter Name and making it not null. When Submit My Recipe is clicked, we created an event that fills the Submitter Name field so only those recipes that are submitted will show up. Let's finally check visibility control, click admins, OK, and save. We're now done with our extended features, but we have to now add them to our live app. Let's go to applications and my recipes app. In here, we'll click select the WAG application to use as my design template. Then we can choose my recipes app development and now uncheck allow design changes. Finally, we'll refresh application design and the app will have our new additions. Let's now check out our newly updated app on some mobile devices. On the iPad, I'm logged in as Mike Wallace, who's a user, and I will add in a recipe for approval. After adding everything, I'll click Submit My Recipe because I'm ready for it to be approved. Now, on this Android device, I'm logged in as John Doe, who is the admin of this app. Let's approve the recipe by sliding the Yes button in the Approval field. We now have a new recipe approved in the app. Within minutes, we've added some powerful features to our recipe app without affecting live users and without requiring our users to update the app on their mobile devices. This is just a brief demonstration of the capabilities of WAG and how it can save great amount of time and money when creating mobile and desktop apps.